Well, howdy there, Internet students. Uh, it's Mr. Hermanson again. We're going to do a little more probability today. Um, we're going to use probability to help us decide if things are fair or not. Okay? So um, here's a game you can play with a friend, a brother, mom, dad, whatever. Go ahead and do it and see what you think according to what your outcomes are. So if the coins show the same face, you get a point. If they show different faces, your friend scores two points. Okay, and play 10 rounds to see if, um, if you are winning or if they are winning. Okay? So I hope you decided that, um, that maybe this is not a fair game. Um, so, and you can tell by your, by what you did, but let's just look at the outcomes for the game. So you're tossing two coins. Um, so the first coin could either land up heads or tails, and then the second coin could lead up either heads or tails. So when you do two coins, you have four possibilities. You could have heads and then heads, heads and then tails, tails and then heads, and then tails and tails. Now, if the coin shows the same faces, you score a point, which are these two possibilities. So half the time you're going to win, but you're only scoring one point, where in the other half the time your friend wins um, if they show different faces, and your friend is actually getting two points apiece. So um, if you just said we each get a point, then it would be a fair game, and then whoever is the luckiest person ends up winning. Okay? Um, so let's take another thing, a look at a different situation. Um, in this one, Taylor and Manuel have three discs. Um, they are yellow on they two are yellow on both sides, and one is yellow on one side and red on the other. The Freds take turns tossing all three discs. Taylor scores one point if they all turn up yellow, and Manuel scores two points if they are not all yellow. Um, so let's list all possible outcomes. So let's, uh, on the first flip, we could have red or yellow. All right, so I finished list, listing mine here. But remember, there's two different yellows on each of the uh, second flip and third flip. So, um, so if, uh, in order for Taylor to score one point, um, if they all turn up yellow. So all yellow would be all of these possibilities. There's actually four of them, right? And um, and Taylor gets one point if any of those four out of the eight turn up yellow. Now, um, Manuel gets two points if they're not all yellow. And they're going to not be all yellow the other half of the time. So. We're going to say this is not a fair game because um, because um, red red uh, as one of the outcome is going to occur half the time, and the other half the time, all yellow is going to occur, and so they should get equal points in order to make this a fair game. All right, one more game we're going to look at here. Three students are playing a game called Pick a Pocket. There are two piles of cards. The first pile of cards is labeled negative 2, negative 1, 1, 2, and 3. The other pile has cards labeled with uh, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. After shuffling both piles of card, a card is randomly drawn from each pile and the numbers multiplied together. Points are scored according to the product. Um, Polly gets a point if it's a positive product. Zach gets a point if the product is zero. And Nathan gets a point if the product is negative. Okay, so let's list all outcomes um, by filling in this multiplication table. Okay, 
Um, now we really only care if it's positive, zero, or negative. So if you want, you can just put, um, like here you have a negative times a negative, negative two times negative two, that would be a positive. Negative two times negative one would be a positive. Negative two times positive one would be a negative. And so with those three, go ahead and fill in the rest of the Okay, so Polly wins if it's a positive. It looks like if we count them up, Polly has 10 ways to win. And she gets one point per win. So um, if each of these come out, the total points on all those will equal 10. Okay, um, Zach gets a point if the product zero. He has five ways to win. He gets one point. So the total points he would get if we did this an infinite number of times is, is five. And Nathan, uh, he has, he's all the negatives. He has 10 ways to win. He gets one point for win and he would get 10 points overall. Um, Polly and Nathan have equal chances to win. We know that because their total points are the same. Um, but Zach, does not have quite as much of a chance of winning, does he? All right. Now, see if you could think of a way to make it fair. Like, what could we do with Zach's points so that it comes out the same? The way I thought of is, why don't we just give give Zach two points per win? That way, um, if he wins the number of times he's supposed to, he will get 10 total points. That would make it fair. All right, um, so here we are at the homework. Um, what you're going to do on each of these is just decide if it's fair or not. Um, there's a table for you to fill out so you can um, record the results. Um, and you can actually try these games too and see if they come up fair or not, if you can find somebody to play with you on those. All right, um, if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and email me message me, whatever, and uh, I'll help you as best I can. Otherwise, we'll see you at the next meeting.